When I walked into the building, it was one year old, a new building, but there were all these portraits, and, and they were of these old men. And many of the men um, clearly had passed away. They were quite uh, old, old types of portraits. And so it scared me because I saw all of them looking, looking at me, and I thought the, the portraits were saying, intruder alert, intruder alert. What, what's this young black woman from New York City coming into our building? And I, I never could have imagined that, that 25 years later, I would be one of those portraits looking at who comes in the building. It was a, a very strange experience to have my oil portrait done. And it was strange because I've always associated oil portraits with old, dead people, usually men. I didn't think I was old enough, and I'm certainly not dead. So the University of Iowa Law School's policy of um, offering uh, an oil portrait to each faculty member that has served 25 years just kind of took me off guard because uh, I, it didn't seem that I'd been here that long. My portrait is unique in that I'm the first uh, African-American female uh, faculty member to have a portrait. Uh, we have a few other women who, who are up and there's another African-American man who was a librarian many years ago before I even arrived here. And so he has a portrait. So I represent a unique intersection at, in the history of the law school. By the time I had been here 25 years, this had been going on for some period of time. I, I couldn't have not thought about it. And my initial thought was, I really didn't want any part of it. I had no interest in having my portrait up there. And you might say, well, why is that? Well, I, I guess I just didn't really want to walk into the law building and see myself every day. If you've looked at the portraits on the first floor, you will have noticed that there's one place where the portraits are of three gentlemen who very clearly would not have been of the modern era. Uh, they have, were here a, a, a long time ago. Except for the three that I just described, I know them all. They're all people who were, were still here when I came. One more spot on the wall. I'm glad to share that spot with my colleagues. I spent quite a lot of time with Bill as we were deciding what to do. So I spent time with him looking at portraits, getting an idea of what he wanted. Really, my strongest motivation is really trying to capture the essence of a person. So the more time you spend with someone and you know, listen to their stories and stuff, the greater your chance is going to be to actually accomplish that. When you're painting a person live, there's all different ranges of emotions play out through their faces. But with a photograph, you just have this one captured image. So you just have to keep reminding yourself by looking at other um, photos or conversations you've had, and then eventually you get there. If you said, uh, have, have, you, have you spent more time looking at your picture than you'd like to be doing, I'd say definitely yes. But on the other hand, once you know that, You've got to pick something, and it's going to be up there for a long time. I felt very honored. It's a big deal, and I mean, I think it's always a privilege when someone chooses you to paint their portrait anyways, but having your portrait painted for a public space, that's even, I think, more of a privilege. Right, which is in France. The 25 years has gone by in a minute. And it's been great. It seems like I just arrived in 1987. It was exciting to be uh, told that it, it was my time to have such a portrait. And, and I've tried to dedicate myself in my teaching, scholarship, and service to the university and the students and the faculty and the staff. It's really been quite an honor and a joy. I think it'll take me some while to get used to the idea that I'm up there now with some very distinguished company.